Hey guys, um, just wanted to come to you guys to show you how I wrapped this basket. The flower vase, I tried to, sorry, let me get in the, the video. So the flower vase, I tried to make the, when I placed the flowers into the vase, I tried to make the flowers um, flush with the, t the tallest box in the basket um so that when i shrink wrapped it it wouldn't um smash them didn't work so what i decided to do to try my little new technique i taught myself um by cutting around the vase the head of the vase and placing some cello wrap um so i didn't smash the flowers i didn't want to use this is another one of the baskets i didn't want to use um cello cellophane wrap i just wanted to use um shrink wrap so it could be i didn't tape anything down in this basket by the basket either um but i wanted to shrink wrap this basket so this is how it came out i'm gonna make a little bow i'm gonna do my design that i'm i like to use to do i've already i pre-cut the ribbon already so and I took the two strips and I'm going to just fold it over fold it over as long as I want my bows to be on each side I didn't measure it I'm just folding it over Folding it in the middle. Making my slits through the, the wire. Because this is a wired ribbon. I love doing the satin floral ribbon like this. It's so easy. It's so easy. Um, Okay, so I'll take my jupe, make my little tie. Tie it tight. My finger there. Tie it again. Place it on the ball. I mean, place it on the basket. Straight. You can have to have this go sideways because then, because of the flowers. Start fluffing my. My bow out, pulling, starting from the middle, pulling, going in one direction, one direction, one direction, one direction, one direction, other direction. I'll be out in the front. Tails. So when you don't measure, um, sometimes your loops don't all be even on both sides. But this is ribbon, wired ribbon. I can just adjust it, fluff it out. You wouldn't be able to tell that it was four loops on one side and three on the other. I mean, we all try to be perfect. I try to be perfect, but when you just working fast and you just want it done, perfect might not work out. 
so and I noticed that when um not trying to be perfect those be the best outcomes of everything I do um once I start trying to critique stuff and make it all special and all cute, the more I work with it, the more I mess with it, touch it, the more it um it, it messes it up. I don't get the, the look I want. But here you go. This is my little V. I try not to mess with the shrink wrap too much. The more you mess with it, the more raggedy old it looks. Um, especially cellophane wrap. And you, the more you work with it, you keep touching it, keep touching it, it starts to get this ugly look. Um, old like look. So, but I think this came out cute. Um, I don't know about my little, my little technique here. It look okay. Um, it actually looks nice. The flower's not smashed in. Um, yeah, it looks nice. So, let me um, turn the camera around. So I turned the camera around so you guys could see. But yeah, it came out cute. I like it. I like it. I like the bow. Even though it's polka dots and flowers, it goes, I guess. Uh, let's see here. My light then went down. Let me lock the light. That's too bright. Lock it. Okay, so yeah. Came out cute. I like it. And this is how flowers look. The vase with the flowers. Almost look like a bouquet of flowers, maybe. How they wrap them. But it came out cute. I think I should go in and put a bow on the other side. Yeah, I think I should. Hold on, guys. I'm going to put the tripod. Put the phone back on the tripod. Hold on. Okay, so I'm attaching the... um. Go to the other side. <clears throat> I've already cut it. Attached it to the jupe. And now I'm just pulling it out. So I, um, my, um, my friend makes bows and she off uh, let me show y'all what she does she pull them out don't fluff them and leave them like that i don't know if you can see that see how it look i guess it looks okay but when you fluff them out you get this look when you leave them straight like that, or you cut them, or you make the bow too long to where the loops is too big, that's the look you get. Now, it's nothing wrong with that look. I don't know if you can see it. But, y'all tell me what you like. That way, or that way. I guess there's no wrong way to do it, but... I'm going to open the ends up just a little bit. When you're working with the floral ribbon, the floral satin ribbon, it um you can't cut those too long. Because you'll get this, this exact same look that I was just showing you that I'm not too particular about. You'll get that exact same look, that long look. It just it look funny. Okay, so I'm fluffing it out. You turn it towards me. Get this tail off, so I'm just gonna cut the tail on this one. And 
cutting from the inside to the outside. Take that tail. Do the same thing with the polka dot ribbon. I think I'm overworking this bulb just to prove a point. About what happens when you don't fluff it out. Okay, I like it. So, you can see all the way around. Here's my little creation flowers. That's how it looks on the front. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Hope you guys give me a like. Sus subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, and um, comment below if you like this basket and you like my little invention my little innovative creative side um until next time guys have a blessed evening enjoy the rest of your day and i'll talk to you guys later